Hi, I'm Dylan, and in this video, I'm going to show you Spot from a scouter's perspective. So this is the screen that a scouter sees when they first uh, access Spot. It gives them the option to sign in manually here and put in their first and last name. Once they do this once, it'll save here, just so they don't have to retype it every single time. So once they click that Save button, they'll be put into this Waiting for a Match screen. So they'll wait here until either six scouters are waiting for a match, in which case they'll be assigned robots, or the admin clicks the Start Scouting button which will automatically assign the robots. So, I clicked the Start Scouting button on the admin page, so now I get this match information. So I've been assigned Team 63 in match number 1. So that's the robot I'm going to watch. And this is the Match Scouting screen. Do the Start Match button, so when the match starts, the scouter will click this, and then they're greeted with all these different buttons for all the things that the robot can do. Some of them are simple, like leaving the tarmac zone. That's the thing that happens once. Uh, but some of them have other things like position. For example, ground pickup, miss, lower hub, and upper hub all have a position associated with them, where the robot is when this happens. So, for example, when you click lower hub, it'll pop up a map and you click where that happened. Spot has a cool feature called position lock, where it will save a position for a second after you input it. This is useful if, for example, they score in the lower hub twice and click the session, then you just have to click lower hub, click it, and while that green thing is around it, you click it again while the green border's there. This will save the position and have it be the same position for both of those actions. In Spot, you also have the ability to undo, to undo an action if you make a mistake. At the end of the match, after the robot has done all the actions and the match is over, the scouter has the ability to submit the match by clicking on this button right here. When they click that, It'll sync the data and reset them to the main page of Spot. So that's the scatter experience for Spot. If you want to learn more about how to customize this experience for your team, please refer to the Match Scouting Configuration video, where I'll teach you how to edit the matchscouting.json file in the config folder.